Okay, so we're going to analyze the Chase Bank password requirements here and see how secure the weakest possible password would be. So the requirements are that the your password must be at least eight characters. So it could be just eight, weak as possible, with one uppercase letter, one lowercase, one number, and one of these special characters. And it lists them at exclamation mark, uh, hashtag, dollar sign, percent, and so on. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine special characters that you could use. Okay. 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 And so I've even, I've even, um, uh, made a note that if you add these up, see there's 26 uppercase letters, right? Uh, you know, T, R, and so on. So 26 of those. There's uh, 26 lowercase letters like F, T, G, H, or whatever. Um, there are 10 possible digits, numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there are nine of those special characters in the least secure password. And so if you add those up, you find that there are 71 um, types of cast password types of characters that must be used in the least secure password, right? right and right. it is oh, I'm doing that. Sorry. Oh, and it is um, eight um, characters long. So let me make it up. It'd be something like this: capital T, number five. Oh, actually, start with a number. Number three, number two, capital T, lowercase G. You know. Uh, yeah, so, oh, one of those special characters. So, like, let's say exclamation mark, um, and then whatever else out of these again. Uh, but we've already fulfilled the requirements because we've got at least one number. We've got an uppercase, got a lowercase, got one of those special characters. And then we're only one, two, three, four, five. This is only five characters long. We need an eight long. So, I'll make up something else. Um, the number nine, um, I'll put in the percent sign. Oops, no, I won't. I'll put in presents. I'll put in um, D and then capital W, right? Okay. So that would be uh, a least secure password for this account, right? Great. Now, um, an example of one. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters. Now, so in the first spot, there could be 71 possible characters, right? And so if it's just a, if it was just like a one character password, there would just be 71 possible outcomes. If it was a two character password, like F6 or, or FR or something, it would be 71 possible in the first spot times 71 possible in the second spot. So that'd be 5,000 possible passwords uh, if it was just two characters long. If it was three characters long, it'd be 71 times 71 times 71, right? Okay. Which would be 357, you know, roughly 350,000 possible passwords if it was three characters long. So how would we calculate the number of possible passwords with eight characters? So we'll just do 71 to the power of eight. Yeah, 71 times itself, eight times 71 to the power of eight. Oh, we get okay. this number, 6.457, yada, yada, times 10 to the 14, which is roughly, um, I'm just going to go 6 with then 14 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Woo! And that is thousand, million, billion, trillion, 600 trillion, okay? Roughly okay. 600 trillion possible passwords with this least secure requirement on it, right? Okay. Now, your typical hacker can guess a hundred billion, um, a hundred billion every second, right? Mm -hmm. um, and again, so it's not exactly 600 trillion, it's more like uh, six, four, five, uh, seven, five, three, uh, five, three, one, and I'm missing some digits here. Uh, there we go. So thousand mil thousand million billion trillion. So this is what our number looks like, roughly six hundred and forty-five trillion. Okay. And the hacker can guess a hundred billion each second. So if I divide by one hundred billion, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, 
I get this number here. Six, four, five, seven point five three. What does that mean? Each second the hacker guesses a hundred billion passwords with his with with his her their computer. And um it takes six thousand four hundred and fifty seven seconds roughly before the, the the before the hacker guesses all of those passwords, right? Um, and by the way, you didn't have to do this like I did. I just did it for kind of for fun because I wanted to show what the, actually the numbers written out. But it's more, you know, you might have this on your calculator and then you might put parentheses around it or something. Um, or it'll just come up in your calculator like that. And then you just divide by, you know, 10 to the power of 11, 100 billion. You don't have to write it all out. I just did it just for clarity. Okay. So, and we get the same thing, uh, roughly 6,000 seconds. So the question is, we've got to then round to the nearest minutes. So we've got to turn these 6,000 something seconds into minutes. And just for fun, I'll just do it, come up with something easy. What would 180 seconds be? So let's say if I had 180 seconds, how many minutes is that? Maybe three minutes. Right. And how do we get that? We go 180 divided by 60. 60, and that gives us our three minutes. So to mm -hmm. get from seconds to minutes, divide by 60. And so I can actually just take this number, and instead of something easy like 180, just put that there. And now it says, okay, 107.6 minutes. Now, if we round that to the nearest minute, what do we get? 108. 108. Good. 108 minutes. Good. Okay. Um, ooh, should have done that to the nearest hour, be even better. Because if I take this, how do we turn that into hours, by the way? You just divide by 60 again. Exactly, yeah. Divide by 60 again. Yeah. So minutes to hours, take that, divide by 60, and we get 1.79, roughly two hours. Yeah. So 108 minutes, or roughly almost two hours. Okay with that? Yes. So the big question is, is that good enough? Would you want to, to do the least secure password for your Chase Bank account, or would you want to make it longer than eight characters? <laughs> make it longer, definitely. Make it longer, yeah. And again, as Edward Snowden told us, think about past phrases, not passwords. It's not about one word. It's about a bunch of words that, that don't make, that are kind of, Silly, a silly phrase or a phrase that makes sense to you that you can remember that other people wouldn't be able to guess. So that's the key. Pass phrases. Good. Mm -hmm.